I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we'll have an application on comparing fractions. The question here is, what is the greatest value you can use to make each true? So we have three practice questions for you. So we need to find those values, those dotted ones, to make these inequalities true. So that is, something is less than 3 over 4. Here, 2 over 3 is less than 3 over something and 6 over 7 is greater than something over 5. You need to find the values of these, right? So you can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into the method which can be adopted to find the answer, right? So let us see how to find these values. So first one is, something over 5 is less than 3 over 4, and what that value could be? We are looking for the greatest value. Remember that, the greatest value, right? If you put 1, 2, 3, 4, out of that, what is the highest number which you can place here so that this fraction is less than 3 over 4? So that is really the question before us, right? One way is we can make the denominators common, right? So let's make the denominators common and rewrite the question. So what we have here is we have denominators as we have 3 over 4 here. We want that to be greater than something over 5. To make the common denominators, I will multiply this by 5. Is that okay? And I'll multiply these by 4, right? I'll multiply these by 4. So if I do that, what do I get? So what I get here is 5 times 4 is 20. So let me write them separately, right? And here we'll get 20. And 3 times 5 is 15, right? And here we get 4 times something, right? So what we are saying now is 4 times something, which we don't know yet, 4 times something should be less than 15 now. Is that okay? So 20, 20 is the same base. 4 times something should be less than 15. That is what is going to be here, correct? So that is how we get our answer. So 4 times 1 is 4, that is less than 15. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 is also less than 15. 4 times 3, 3 is 12, which is less than 15. But 4 times 4 is 16, that is not less than 15. So the maximum value could be 4 times 3. So maximum value could be 3, right? So that is how you could get your answer. You get the point, right? So that is how we could get the answer. So this is one method to do it, right? Now I'll teach you second method in the second portion. So 3 over 5 is less than 3 over 4 and this cannot be more than 3. So that is the greatest value which you can place here. Now let's look into this question which is 2 over 3 is less than 3 over something and what is that number? How do you get this number? Well the idea here is you could cross multiply. So we'll have strategy called cross multiply here. So if I cross multiply, 3 times 3 is 9, do you see that? And something, and we want 9, should be greater than 2 times something, correct? So, so the number here has to be less than 9. So 2 times, 2 times what is less than 9? Highest value should be 8, for example, is that okay? How do you get 8? You get 8 by multiplying 2 by 4, do you get the idea? So that cross multiply helps. So, so that something should be 4. Do you get the idea? Well, let's practice this cross multiply once again. So that is the best way of finding the missing term. So, so the best way we learned is cross multiply, right? So we'll apply this method of cross multiply here. You can now pause the video, do cross multiplication, and find the answer, and then check with my answer, right? So if I cross multiply, I get 6 times 5, which is 30, right? 30 should be greater than 7 times something. Is that okay? That is what? So 7 times what is less than 30? 7 times? 7 times 4. You get the idea, right? Because 7 times 5 is 35. And therefore, this number should be 4, right? So that is how we can actually solve such questions very very easily do you get the idea right so whenever you have a question like this 
or even when you are comparing fractions, cross multiplication helps you to compare fraction. Use this strategy and then you will be able to do such questions very easily. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.